All right, so we're going to be calculating probabilities from Venn diagrams. Now, I'm going to give you some notation to help you out with this. There are three important words are union, intersection, and complement. They mean or, and, and not. Uh, a U for union, an upside down U for intersection, and an apostrophe for complement or not. All right, let's get started. Probability. So first question, we're going to find the probability that something is in set A. And the way to do this is always the same, right? Uh, we need the total number of elements here. So that's the size of the sample space. Now, I'm never great at doing this like weird squiggle thing. It's the universal set squiggle. Uh, you can Google that and practice drawing it yourself. So the size of the universal set. And then on the top here is whatever we're trying to find the probability of. So the size of uh, set A. All right, so let's take a look here. First up, the size of the universal set. We just add up all the numbers, 10 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2. That's all of the people, all of the elements that we're thinking of. And so in this case, it's 24. Now, what about the size of set A? Now, a lot of people will look at this and think the number is 10, but it's not. The size of set A is anything in the circle that is set A. So that's 10 plus 5, which is 15. So... The probability of someone being in set A or an element being in set A is 15 over 24, which of course we can simplify. All right, so that's that one done. The next one here says probability of A intersection, intersection B. Now the intersection means and, which means this bit here, A and B. All right, getting ahead of myself. We need a formula. Again, we're doing N equals the size of that sample space. Oops, N n of the sample space uh, and then on the bottom here we have n of whatever we're trying to find a intersection b all right and then we just look it up all right n of a intersection b that's this bit here which is five over the universal set which we know is 24. five over 24 can i simplify that no i can't that's the end of that question now another example here, the probability of A union B, A or B. Now, this is A, this is B, and this is A and B. All together, it makes A and B. So that's what we're dealing with, A and B here. All right, our formula is the same as always. The size of the sample space. Now again, you look up the squiggle. Um, and then the size of whatever I've got here, A union B. B. Now, the size of the universal set, everything we're considering is 24, and the size of the thing we're trying to find the probability of, 10 plus 5 plus 7 is 22. So the probability of A union B in this case is 22 over 24, which of course is 11 over 12. And now I'm going to do probability not B. All right, so I'm going to start with my formula now. Uh, the size of the universal set, squiggles are getting worse as I go on, and the size of not B. All right, what's the size of the universal set? Well, it's the same as every other time, 24. What's the size of not B? Okay, this is B, this circle, right? So some people look at 7 and think that's the only thing that's B. 5 is B as well, 5 is inside B. So the things that are not inside B is 10 and 2, these two bits here, so 12. 12 over 24, which of course simplifies to be 1 half. There's my answer for that one. I'm going to do one more question before I rub it off and show you something else, but probability of A only. I'm not going to use set notation here, just A only. Now again, it's the size of the universal set, the size of A only. All right, how many people are doing A only? Just this many, 10. So we've got 10 over 24, which of course is five out of 12. So write all this down, I'm gonna rub something off, I'm gonna show you something else that'll sort of really make us think. In my last example, I wrote probability of A only. And that only is a bit unsatisfying because it's not using that set notation that we've been using. I could have written this in a different way. I could have said the probability of set A and not B. A and not B. 
and we can't include these people here. So that is the same as that, that's a little bit fancier. I'll show you one that's like pretty wide. Okay, here we go, way above anything that I'm ever gonna expect you to do. Uh, the probability of A intersection B union not A union B. Okay, so what does all of that mean? Well, let's break it down. Let's deal with this bit first. A intersection B, that's easy. A and B, this thing here, the number five. Union means or. All right, so we've got or. So that means we can have this or we can have this. Now, what does this say? Well, we start with this thing in the in outside of the brackets, which is complement, which means not, not this stuff. And what's this stuff? A or B, A or B, A or B. It's everything in these two circles. So everything in these two circles is all these numbers here, but we don't want everything in these two circles. We want everything that's not in these two circles. And that's this number here. So we have this group here, the five, we have this group here, two. So altogether we have seven. The answer to this question, the probability of this or this is seven out of 24. Again, way above anything I'd ever ask you to do, but set notation is super, super, super powerful. It's a language all of its own.